Hey everyone, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I just want to point out to you uh, a little annoyance, I guess, on Twitter uh, that you should be aware of when you pose a question and you start to get responses back. And this is the example that I saw this morning when I logged into my Twitter account. Uh, and, I, and, I've, and I see this quite a bit, usually from someone who's marketing something. So someone had asked earlier, uh, what blogging platforms would you recommend for 8 to 12 year olds? And there's been a bunch of responses and I responded with, with my suggestion. Uh, by the way, I would check out edublogs, edublogs.org, great platform for 8 to 12 year olds. Uh, but this person here, this Davis Brown, I have no idea who he is. Uh, so, but had this response to all the other responses of, um, check out this website, Builders Wix versus Weebly versus WordPress. So I go and check out his profile. Um, turns out he's promoting, and he works for, this template toaster company. And I checked out the chart that he was promoting, and it actually doesn't represent Weebly accurately. Uh, so, if you are, you know, posing a question on Twitter, and you get a response from someone who you don't recognize, uh, which may happen quite a bit, uh, but you want to check out their profile, and particularly if it looks like this, it very well it could be some kind of promotion that may or may not be entirely accurate. Again, this chart is actually not accurate uh, regarding Weebly for education. So that's my little tip or uh, something to be aware of regarding posing questions on Twitter. As always, for more tips and tricks and advice like this, check out freetechforteachers.com or practicaledtech.com.